What's up, Taurus? This is Taurus Sun Moon Rising. This is your reading for the end of 2018. How are you going to finish off the year? What you need to know for 2000, ooh, 2019. Okay, so King of Wands says, whatever you're passionate about, whatever you are doing, you are on top. You have all this fiery ass energy, and it is, um, the moon is in Taurus right now, so it's definitely, um, you, you know what the fuck you want, you know, you know how to get it, you, Taurus is stubborn as hell, so it's like, you been, maybe it's like, people have been trying to tell you, but you already know. <laughs> Take a look at what's going on in your world. You might have two two options. You got the world in your left hand and this um, rod in your right. So you got one for backup. So it's like <clears throat> you got two decisions maybe, but you already know which one you're going to choose. And <clears throat> you can always take row B if you need to. But um, five of cups says you're focusing on the bad. You got three cups down, but two cups behind you. And maybe that's like this too. Like you're looking at one option that's in front of you, but you still got these things behind you. You have a backup wand. You have these other cups back here behind you. Stop focusing so much on the negative. Tarses tend to beat themselves up really bad. You all are harder on yourselves than anything. You all feel like this sense of like letting people down. If shit don't go the way you think it should go, you guys are kind of like, you guys. Just, ugh, like, beat the fuck out of yourselves for no reason. Like, y'all got seven cups here, but y'all have to have an eight. That's what, that's what basically this is. You're going on this adventure even though you've already had, you have these seven fucking cups. You have all these accomplishments in your life and you still need that fucking eighth cup. For what? To prove some shit to yourself? That's basically what it is. But you're focusing on this one cup or these cups and knock down or this wand in this world instead of realizing like you got an extra rod back here you got these two cups back here you you have these seven cups in front of you why are you going on this journey if it doesn't make you happy you don't have to go on that journey to prove anything to anybody you don't have shit to prove to anybody Taurus. And i feel like that's what you're always trying to prove something and it's like oh. the bottom of the deck is like three of pentacles so it's a creative project you already know you're good enough. You know you're good enough. Maybe you're listening, you're letting your emotions and this chitter chatter from. Oh, whoa. So you got the lovers and it's a higher pit. So you're a leader. Of, you're a leader of a group, a leader of something, and you have the lovers with you. So you're doing something. You're going to be a leader. You already know what you want. You already know how to get it. You. Mm, but you're connecting with a partner. You're connecting with somebody else. And maybe that somebody else. With the lovers being upside down. Maybe that partner isn't so good for whatever you're doing. Maybe that's the part where you're looking at. You're just focusing on um, this person or this partnership. It could be a partnership in business. It could be a partnership um, in a relationship. It could be um, two different sides of yourself that you're going back and forth. It was like your true self and who you want to be and who you know you are and the person that people think you are. So you are focusing so much on the bullshit. You can't see this beautiful energy and this beautiful creativity and this beautiful project that's right in front of you that's right there. It's like you know what the fuck to do period so why are you focusing on the bad shit like your vibration attracts things and if you're focused on the negative you're going to get the negative but you know you're good enough you know you are creative enough you know whatever you're doing is about to pop oh death this is a transformation this is letting go of all this negative fucking energy all this baggage um that you're carrying around with you about something um 
maybe it's something that was supposed to happen and didn't, or that should have happened, you think should have happened and hasn't happened yet, but you've been working towards something or um, working with someone, and it's, I don't know if it's going so good, but let that shit die. Get rid of that shit. Don't bring that shit into 2019 with you. Mm -hmm. Definitely opposing forces. So you have these two different sides, one saying like, do this, and one saying, do this, and it's like, you have to decide, um, ooh, but you have the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, so, it's gonna, it's gonna be, um, it's gonna come to fruition, it's going to be fulfilling, it's going to bring you money, it's going to bring you material wealth, that's gonna bring you, uh, success, but, you gotta stop focusing on the bullshit, and you gotta stop, you gotta control these two, like, it's basically like you got a devil and an angel on your shoulder and both are speaking into your ear. And don't let all these motherfuckers up in your ear. Fuck this guy, flick that guy off, flick that guy off. You don't need neither of the motherfuckers. You don't need your angel or your devil. Just be you. Just focus on you. You and your truest power. You don't need these motherfuckers. You don't need to listen to them right now. Don't stop listening to people. Because they're, and maybe it's it's two parts of yourself, left brain, right brain, uh, conscious and whatever the other thing is but um focus on what you really really want focus on what's the truest version of yourself let me pull one of these to clarify um what does make you happy what do you want for 2019 and try to look at it without judgment or without good, putting a good or bad label on it just or without beating yourself up um, don't put pressure on yourself. Allow yourself to be free. Allow yourself to movement. Um, okay. So, harmony. Listen to your inner voice. The dream. So, slowing down. And new vision. So, you are going to come to a place of harmony, but you have to listen to your inner voice. You have to decide what is the dream for you. Take time to slow down. Take time to go, um, to figure out where you're going before you go there. Um, to let these demons or these darker parts of you be left in 2018. Um, figure out what your new vision is. What's true, what rings true for you. What's going to make you dance. What's going to make you shoot this arrow into fulfillment, into, um, into this lover energy, into this completion and this wholeness and this good feeling, um, what's gonna make you do that? But you have to sit down and listen to your inner voice. Even this inner voice card looks like Taurus to me. Like, it looks like the bull to me. It's like, here's a face and here's a face and... And then he's got two of the, these two dolphins on each side of him, and it's like going around and around. It's like, there's so many aspects, but it's like, don't let these two dolphins, whatever, don't let this outer self, none of that. Just go deep within yourself and figure out who you are at your core, who you are at your most pure, what you really want for your life, what rings true for you, regardless of what anyone fucking says. Um, but you have to listen to your inner voice and stop, don't let too many people up in your ear. People think you, that you need to ask for opinions from other motherfuckers and get opinions from other people and you're just putting more bullshit in your head. People don't need to know what you're doing. People don't, maybe you need to separate yourself. There's definitely, you need, to, you need to put it into these two sides of things. You need to put it into all this, let, th today's a day for cutting motherfuckers off, period. I'm gonna pull one of these rebel decks. To just to end this reading. Mm. Step away from the crazy making diet for a hot second kill and spiritual, uh, spiru, 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 tastes like ass. Oh, and that's too. I don't even know what the fuck that means. Eat some yummy shit. Bacon chocolate beer. Get some. <laughs> so maybe you're stressing yourself out about trying to do things like um 
you're trying to be on this crazy ass diet, you're trying to do this crazy ass thing that's supposed to be healthy, that's supposed to be, um, the right thing to do. Fuck that kale. Like, eat some bacon, chocolate, and beer. You know what I'm saying? Eat some yummy shit. That's what it's saying. Like, oh, whatever you're doing that's the kale of your life, basically. What's the spinach of your life? What's the shit that you've been doing? Because it's the right thing to do, the healthy thing to do, what other motherfuckers say you should do. When really, you just really need some fucking chocolate. Fucking figure out what it is that you're doing that's just like, what am I even doing this for? Do I want to do this? Like, yeah, it's healthy. Yeah, it's the right thing. But sometimes we need to just listen to our ourselves and our and our heart. And sometimes our heart wants some chocolate. But that's why you. <laughs> but it was stuck to this money one. Is make it rain. So when you stop trying to do everything that everyone else fucking tells you is the right thing, or you stop trying to do something that you're doing it, but it don't really feel like you. It don't really feel good. It don't really feel like. It's just not something that's making you happy. Just be happy. And when you start to be happy, when you start to move forward in this good energy and this flowing energy and this energy that's like, okay, yeah, I'm going to eat the kale, but I'm going to eat this chocolate over here too. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna do the right thing or whatever so-and-so says is the right thing, but I'm going to do my own thing too. And when you start getting happier and your vibration is higher, then you can manifest more. Then you can really see like, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't have to be kale and chocolate. It could be anything. I'm just saying. Like, sometimes the best move for yourself is just eat the fucking candy bar because it's going to make you happier at the fucking time. That doesn't mean go on a fucking chocolate eating binge and just... You know what's right for you. You know what feels good. You know what makes you happier. Just don't beat yourself up if you want a piece of fucking chocolate once in a while. Don't beat yourself up if you want to indulge in some fun shit indulge in the fun shit you need some fun shit and once you start realizing do what's making you happy instead of what other motherfuckers are telling you to do or what this society or like these um the higher fun is like organizations maybe it's a group of friends what these people are telling you to do maybe you don't relate with these motherfuckers anymore you're moving on to higher and bigger and bolder things and these people can't keep up with you let them go. Let them go and do you. It's all about doing you. But this last card, this money card, Taurus, it's going to be beautiful for you. You're going to get all the fucking money. You're going to get, it's more than money. You could feel like a million dollars. It could be feeling like a million dollars. It doesn't have to be a million dollars. You know what I'm saying? That feeling of a million dollars is just as good as a million dollars. Because when you're in that high vibration, then you manifest that, period. So, just know you got it. You know what the fuck to do. Stop being so hard on your damn self. Let that shit go in 2018. Because 2019, whatever you're doing, you got to make it. You're going gonna to be Gucci. So, love you guys. If you want a reading, um, go to my website, tylerdesantis.com. Uh, check out my shit. Don't forget to subscribe. Love you guys. Stay strong. I know you will. Bye.